Next under recognition this evening uh, is our Student Spotlight, where we recognize the creative achievements and talents of students in the Troy School District Creative Guild. <laughs> Tonight we are pleased to welcome back Mr. Thomas Butcher, Butcher along with a student who some might say has a familiar face. Yes. The student, <laughs> featured, the student featured this I know month her. for Student Spotlight is Cassandra Wilson, a senior at Athens High School. We're excited to see what they have prepared to us, prepared for us. Welcome Mr. Butcher and Cassandra. Thank you and good evening everyone. So here we are. Ever since you created this tradition of Student Spotlight, I have been waiting for the ideal moment to bring Cassandra Wilson up to the podium. For those who don't know, we met each other by total chance back in the days of Zoom. I was starting from scratch because all of the students I inherited when I started this job had graduated. And so our, with our rebranding of Creative Guild, Cassie became the very first student producer. The timing could not be more perfect because it was three years ago in April of 2021 at the Board of Education meeting when little freshman Cassandra worked her very first job ever. Happy anniversary, by the way. <laughs> Since then, Cassandra has demonstrated tremendous enthusiasm for this work. She is reliable and consistent, taking on various work with photography and short documentaries. And not to mention, she's been filming these meetings for the last three years. <laughs> Outside of Creative Guild, Cassandra is an incredible actress and is an outstanding vocal talent. You've probably seen her with the Athens Theatre Company, choir, the a cappella group Hawkapella, or the various other shows she has been a part of. Tonight, Cassandra has produced a unique video for us. Leaning on her theatre talents, she performs a monologue about her years of experience as a student in the Troy School District. It's a cinematic montage about her actual real life and I'm excited to share with you her achievement in storytelling. Cassandra was my first student producer. She is also the first student who I've worked with from freshman to senior year. She has shown me our potential, and I am very, very proud of her, although probably not as proud as a certain someone over on that end. <laughs> she is very talented, as I've already mentioned several times, but she has something more important than talent. She's got heart, and she's got soul. And that's why I believe in Cassandra Wilson. Whatever you set out to do, great things are on the horizon. I've always been an arts kid. I've taken every opportunity within the Troy School District I could find to perform. In elementary school, I was part of the before school choir at Barnard, the Jam and Jays. In middle school, I made it to the top three in Baker Idol, the only sixth grader to get that far. I learned about stage presence and blending with the Baker Show Choir led by Mrs. Johnson and kept performing as I grew up, even online during COVID. I couldn't leave this community of performers and storytellers I had found. Freshman year, I was introduced to the Creative Guild, a place where I could continue in the arts and expand my abilities to photography and videography while still holding on to my roots as a performer in choir and theater. I've learned how to use a camera, frame a shot, edit pictures and videos, and so much more across many types of events. I've continued performing on stage and have had so many opportunities as a result. I've been a part of film crews and been able to record sporting events, concerts, and assemblies. Watching others excel in their craft has encouraged me to push myself and get better with every project I do, whether it be singing or editing. For all of this, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to all of my teachers and mentors who have helped me grow into the performer I am today. I have learned so much, both in lessons for the projects we were working on at the moment and tips for life in general. I'm so excited to take these skills I've learned in the classroom, in the studio, and on the field in Troy and use them throughout my life, in college and beyond.
my, oh my, how the time has blown by. <laughs> Cassandra, if you would like to say a few words before any potential comments or questions, it is all yours. But first, I also want to point out one of my favorite things about the video, not me in there three times, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a picture that I took of you editing the video that ended up in the video that you yep. were editing of. It's one <laughs> <laughs> all right, Cassie, take it over. Hi, um, thank you all for having me. Um, but I do want to start this definitely by saying thank you to Mr. Butcher, um, who has done nothing but encourage me all three years that I have uh, been truly blessed to work with him. Um, every time um, I've gotten texts that are like, hey, you want to come work this? Hey, you want to come work that? Or I'll be like, I don't know how to do that. And he'll be like, then I'll show you. Um, you've probably explained to me the settings of a camera about five times, like that <laughs> would not click. <laughs> um, but you know, now I've, now I've got it, um, which has been super fun. Um, I have gotten to do so many things with this job that um, if you told freshman me that this is where I would be today, she would look at you like you're crazy. She, like, I don't, also I don't think some of, like I didn't realize that half these things like existed. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you to Mr. Butcher and Mr. Burns, who is, um, he teaches writing for broadcasting. Um, and I've also learned a ton from him um, and to the whole, like everybody in the district who helps with all of that. Do we have questions for her? Go ahead. <laughs> Dr. Philippard. Uh, first Grill all, her. <laughs> uh, first of all, Cassie, congratulations. Um, you know, it's just been outstanding to kind of see the things that you've accomplished and the growth you've had. Um, since you have been in a unique position of having been with the Creative Guild for, you know, really your entire high school career, um, really two questions. One is, what changes have you seen? Um, and you know, kind of how do you feel that your learning has helped Mr. Butcher to make the Creative Guild, um, you know, become better and better? And then what advice would you have for a freshman coming in who might be interested in Creative Guild? Good ones. Um, let's see, uh, the first, the way, probably the biggest difference I've seen throughout since I was a freshman was probably the way that the Creative Guild has grown. Um, when I started, this was first pitched to me as, I think back then it was called Cable Crew, if I'm remembering correctly. And that was basically a, I want to say like live streaming of sporting events type thing. Um, and it has grown into photography in addition to the videography, both live and recorded and edited. And in addition to podcasting and music, um, which I personally did not get super, super into. Um, the, I still have a couple months, so who knows? Like, <laughs> a little bit of dabbling. Um, but I, those, that's probably the biggest way that I've seen it grow. I think one of the biggest ways is that I, I'm a weird mixture of a go-getter and then also a, I sometimes struggle to know my limits. And so I'll commit to a gazillion things and they'll be like, ah, I have a gazillion things to do. <laughs> um, and so um, Thomas has definitely helped me like to not only prioritize, but also like find ways to get things done in the time that it's needed to get them done in while not letting go of quality on videos and things like that. Uh, and to answer your second question, my advice for incoming freshmen would probably be Go for everything regardless of whether or not you think you're gonna nail it the first time. I can't tell you how many times I would do something and be like, I think that's what that's supposed to look like. <laughs> and then the next time I do it, it's better. And the next time I do it, it's better. And it's never going to be perfect your first try. Uh, but the earlier you get started, the farther you can grow in these short three, four years that you have. Great. Well, congratulations again. Thank Any other questions for you? I always oh. like to ask everyone, what was your favorite project? It's true, she does. Yeah. <laughs> um, my favorite project would have to be either this year's charity week, my sophomore year's charity week, 
or the All Together Now documentary I made that was the Athens Theatre Company and the Troy High Theatre Ensembles uh, could combine show that was the year coming out of COVID. And that one was really fun because it was the first like short film, short documentary I'd ever made. And that one was really fun. And also it was a way uh, for me to get involved in that show that I was unfortunately unable to be a part of due to conflicts in show dates. Uh, but the both charity weeks were also very fun. Um, my sophomore year, because it was one, my first charity week, which was a ton of fun. And then also the we live broadcasted the pep assembly, which had the big like reveal and things. And that was one, my first time doing a live broadcasting of that magnitude. And also I had, I think three different sources of audio coming in and then about five different cameras I was trying to navigate all at the same time, which was very fun on new software in the corner of the gym. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was very fun. And then this year I did, I think seven videos in total for this year's charity week, um, which was a ton of fun and also a lot of pre-planning, so it was very fun to see those plans come to fruition. Um, that highlight reel of the whole week, we were able to get out 15 minutes after the end of the school day. So by the time everyone had gotten home and wanted to repost things, it was already there. Well, which was fun. Well, okay, well we have a certificate for you. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.